Hello. In this presentation, I'm going to walk you through how to share a Google app that could be your docs, your sheet, your slides with a peer or a teacher. I've already done some screenshots, so we'll work through that as well as I will show you using the cursor on the screen. Step one would be, of course, to have a whatever app you want opened. Right now I'm using Google Docs. You can tell that by the doc icon, blue with white lines. That's just as similar as Microsoft Word, where you could write your information on it. To share it, you click on the share button in the upper right hand corner of your screen. So you come right up here to the share button and you're going to click on it. Okay. Once you click on that shared button, it's going to open up a little menu for you. When you get that menu, you're going to click on the Get Shareable link. That is this little window right here that will allow you to grab a link. If you're just going to share it with a peer for peer editing, you're just going to put their names in here, their email addresses. If you're going to share it, like to submit it as an assignment, you want to get a shareable link. So again, click on the button, click Get Shareable Link. Once you do that, you're going to get a window opened up that tells you what you're sharing and how it's being shared. Right now, it says that anyone in the Twin Falls School District with the link can view it. If that's all you wanted to happen, you can say copy the link at this point. However, if you're turning it in for comments to be made by people or a peer editing process, you need to change the setting here. If you are ch sharing this document with somebody outside of the Twin Falls School District, you need to go down to the More button right here. Once you click that, you can now determine if you want to make it public for the web or anyone with the link. If you want to make it anyone with the link, you just click there and that means that person is anonymous and again you could change what they can do with your link. I'm going to go back to anyone with the school district can have the link and go ahead and say save. I'm going to change from view to edit and I'm going to copy the link. You can copy the link by clicking the button right there. It says copy link button or you click and highlight all of this and control C. Hit done when you're finished. So again, here's this little information here. This was the little area I said you have to change. You want to change it from view to edit. Many times for teachers, they want it edited, not just view only. And, okay, mentioned that already. We already copied the link. Now we're going to turn in your Google Docs or what other, ever, other Google app you want to have done. You can turn it in by simply pasting this copied link into either an email address for teachers, a forum for teachers, or a learning system like we have here in Buzz. Let's say I'm going to turn in my Google Doc template for Unit 5. I click on that. I go down and get I've already done it. Sorry, I cannot do that one. Unit 4. Um, here, I hit Dropbox at the bottom. And inside this web address is where I'm going to paste my Google Doc for this assignment. Now, of course, I used a general docs to turn in for this rough draft thing, click there, push control V. 
As you notice right here, it ends with the word sharing. I'm going to paste it in the comment section so we can take a look at it as well. Again, control V. Oh, it's not doing it for me. Oh, sorry. So one thing you want to make sure is that the ending of this says sharing. If it does not say sharing at the end, then you cannot submit it. Okay, back to the template. And that was how to share in a Google app. Be it docs, slides, sheets, whatever Google app you're being shared with. You do not need to share with a teacher via email. You share them the link. It's less clutter on both ends and it's easier for the teachers to keep track of it. Thank you for watching.